Hello students, this video of crop production and management is brought to you by Aryabhat National Public School. After adding manures and fertilizers, the next step is irrigation. What is irrigation? What is the purpose of irrigation? What are the sources of irrigation? What are the methods of irrigation? In this video, we will try to discuss all these questions. Today, we are going to discuss irrigation in detail. What is irrigation? Students, water play an important role in growth and development of crops. Nutrients are dissolved in water and then only absorbed by plants. Water protects crops from heat. Therefore, it is necessary to water our crops on regular basis. Supply of water To crops at a regular interval is called irrigation. What is irrigation? The supply of water at the supply of water to crops at regular interval is called irrigation. How much water is required for a crop? It varies from soil to soil, crop to crop and season to season. That is, for a particular crop, water requirement is high. Therefore, we have to irrigate it frequently. For a particular crop, water requirement is low. Therefore, we have to irrigate it less in summer, the crops need more water. In winter, they need less water. Therefore, the irrigation depends upon soil to soil, crop to crop and season to season. What is the purpose of irrigation? The purpose of irrigation is Water is needed for photosynthesis. Water is needed for transpiration. Therefore, we must irrigate our crops. Water helps in absorption of nutrients from soil. Therefore, irrigation is necessary. Water is essential for germination and root elongation. Water is needed for growth of the plant. Water protects our crops from hot air currents and frost. Therefore, irrigation is necessary. So these are the some purposes of irrigations. What are the sources of irrigation? There are two types of source for irrigation. One is surface water and the other is underground water. In surface water, we have ponds, lakes, rivers and canals. In underground water source, we have well and tube wells. Students, in our country, earlier we have discussed that our country economy is based on agriculture practices. In our country, only 18% of agricultural land is fully irrigated. Only 18%. Fully irrigated. 24% of land 
is partially irrigated and the rest 58% land for the 58% land farmers are dependent on monsoon for irrigation what are the methods of irrigation there are two methods of irrigation one is traditional methods of irrigation in traditional methods of irrigation we use moat here it is shown moat or pulley system second one is chain pump the next method of irrigation in traditional methods is dekli and the last one is called rahat earlier in all these methods the water is lifted up and used for irrigation in traditional methods cattle or human labor was used but these methods are less efficient methods lot of water is wasted in this methods now it is a different method of irrigation is used in the second type of method is modern methods of irrigation in modern methods we use sprinkler system and drip system sprinkler system and drip system what is sprinkler system and what is drip system here sprinkler system is shown in a sprinkler system water is flown through a pipe under pressure and with the help of a pump and it is sprinkled on the crop as it it is raining in drip system water is in drip system here you can see in, see in the diagram also in drip system water is water falls drop by drop directly near the roots this is the best technique for watering fruit plants gardens and trees water is not wasted at all in this system the system is used where water avail availability is very low this is all in irrigation rest we will discuss in the next video